here's an update on the Mustang. What I've been up to on it. Uh, first thing I did, made a set of subframe connectors for it. Uh, these are just their eighth inch wall square tubing. I believe it's like two inch. And these slide into the frame rail right here. I cut the end off. Cut the end off of the frame rail. This slides in up to the mark that I put on there. And then in the back here, uh, this already curved up and it kept going in like a 90 degree. So I just cut it off flat and it's got this angle to it and that matches up to the rear frame rail. Oops. And that goes up against the frame rail there. And I put two bends in it. I just cut it, just notched the tubing on the bottom, jacked it up into the car so it would bend, and then welded it all back together. So that works. I did that on both sides. So just kind of do some grinding on the frame rail, bring it down the bare metal, and then I can weld them on. So I did that. Uh, not the thing I did. So I made this radio delete plate. It's just out of some, I think it was 19 gauge or 20 gauge sheet metal. So what I did is I bent it to the shape of the dash and then I welded on the back here. I welded some studs on the back, bolted it in through the radio holes. And then I put, like I had the glove box open, I just closed the glove box, traced out along here where it needs to be cut. Did the same thing over here and then just cut it out and bolted it on and it pretty much works. Just gotta do a little bit of finishing work on it to make it nice and smooth. So I did that. Another thing I did, if I can get out, that thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna flare the quarter panels um, so that I can tuck the tires in because the tires are hitting the little flange up in here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out the spot welds holding this to the wheelhouse, push the quarter panels out an inch, and then cut the inner wheelhouse, push that out, weld it back on the here, and then make a one inch strip to fill in the gap in the wheelhouse. So hopefully that will work out. Um, Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some brazing rod or some brazing solder and I'm going to I'm going to fit these up to the car, bolt them on and then I'm going to braze the gaps so this will all be looking like one piece. So I'm going to do that after I finish the taillight panel because I have to have access to this section right here and you can't. I can't get access to it with this on there, so after I finish the taillight panel, I'll do that. Uh, another thing I did, I installed the sway bar, rear sway bar. You can see how I mounted it here. Basically, I just welded a tab onto the frame. Uh, let me get a flashlight real quick. Can't really see it, but I got a piece of eight, eight inch steel actually that's not 8 inch what am I doing this is 8 inch so it was this thick and I drilled a hole exactly centered and 1 inch down drilled a hole the size of the bolt for the sway bar and then I welded it 13 inches from the shackle onto the frame 
and it sets the sway bar about where it needs to be. I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to be set up, but from pictures, this is what it usually looks like. So there we go. Flashlight doesn't want to work. There we go. So you can see that's a really bad weld right there, but it does hold. For some reason, that side didn't want to work. But anyway, that's that's what I did there. And then that goes down. That's the end link. Then it goes on to the Explorer axle there. Um, another thing I did, I got the spring perches welded on in, in the pinion angle set. So that's all good now. So this side right here did the same thing. See that side has a lot better weld on it. I don't know what happened with the other side, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I did there. Just made the little tabs. I was going to make it like a tab on each side of the frame rail and then put the end link in between the two because that would make it a little bit stronger. But then the bolt would be at an angle because it doesn't want to fit like that. It's not long enough. The whole sway bar is not long enough. So, but the frame rail will be bending before that breaks off or anything. So it's plenty strong. It should work. We'll see. Um, did that. I also lowered the rear end. Basically what I did is I flipped one of the leaf springs. This is a four leaf spring here. So what I did is I took the spring pack apart. There's a bolt there. And then I pried these clamps apart. I took all the springs apart. And then I took the third leaf, flipped it upside down, put it on the top, clamped it all together, and then bolted it back together. And it gives me, I think it's about a two inch drop. So it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, that's what I did there. So you can see about where it's at. So, and the sway bar does work. Well, at least it, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but end links and everything are moving freely when the car goes up and down simulating bumps so turned out pretty well I like it so that's what I've been doing on the on the Mustang